Pauline Rooney was left flabbergasted by Rebecca Verdi's sensational TV interview after the long-awaited result in the wag at the Christie Court case. After her crushing defeat, Rebecca continued to deny leaking stories about Colleen, and said she would ask Colleen for a coffee if she saw her in the street. At the end of last month, Judge Mrs. Justice Stein declared Colleen's now infamous social media post in October 2019 accusing Rebecca's Instagram account of selling stories to the press to be substantially true, following the libel trial in May. Rebecca hit back in an interview on Talk TV, claiming the judge didn't understand the case and didn't look at everything. Colleen was reportedly left flabbergasted by the interview and has no intention of meeting up with her fellow WAG. A source told Heat magazine, the relief Colleen felt after the verdict, that she could finally leave the drama behind, has now been overshadowed by that interview. She can't believe Becky is still protesting her innocence and wants her to know that there will never ever be any sort of catch-up. The source added, she knew Becky wouldn't take the verdict lying down, but not to this level. She'll never forgive Rebecca for what she's put her and her family through. The Mirror has approached Colleen's reps for comment on the source's claims. Speaking to The Sun about Colleen following the ruling, Rebecca said, If I saw her in the street tomorrow, I'd ask her if she wanted to go for a cafe Nero. Life is too short to be resentful and hold grudges and be bitter towards someone. That is not me. I am not that person. Colleen appeared to throw some subtle shade in response to that remark by taking to Instagram as she paid a visit to a coffee shop in Penny Lane. In a statement shortly after the judgment, Colleen said she was pleased but never wanted the case to reach court. She wrote, Naturally, I am pleased the judge has found in my favor in her judgment today. It was not a case I ever sought or wanted. Both before and after my social media posts in October 2019, I made constant efforts to avoid the need for such a public and drawn-out court case. But all my efforts to do so were knocked back by Mrs. Vardy and her lawyers. This left me with no alternative but to go through with the case to defend myself and to end the repeated leaking of my private information to the Sun. The statement added, the leaks from my private Instagram account began in 2017. They continued for almost two years, intruding on my privacy and that of my family. Although I bear Mrs. Vardy no ill will, today's judgment makes clear that I was right in what I said in my Instagram posts. Finally. I would to thank all of my legal team, my family and friends and everyone who has supported me, including the public, through this difficult and stressful time.